Do you know when I was a little lad, I was out all the time. No matter what the weather was, snowing like this, or it could have been raining or bright sunshine, I would prefer to be out than be indoors. And my real inspiration was Tide, my granddad. He used to take me by the hand when I was three, four, five, six years old, and we used to go out, we used to go bird nesting, we used to go fishing, and we'd lift every single log looking to see what was underneath it. And that's how I really got into wildlife. Then I worked for the RSPB years afterwards and really concentrated on birds. And that was when I realized that birds are just one small part of the whole ecosystem. What's around you? You know, the birds are dependent on other things. They're depending on the plants to provide food for them. But more than anything, a lot of our birds are dependent on what's under our feet. Whether they be earthworms or grubs or ants or other insects, birds are completely dependent on those. And now the BTO and I want schools all over Wales to get involved in a project called Under Your Feet. We want children of all ages to get out and to survey what they find beneath their shoes, beneath their wellies. So please, will you get out there for us? Get your hands dirty, get your feet dirty, doesn't matter if you get wet, it's all part of it, and find out what is down there in the soil. We want to know, how are the earthworms doing? How are the grubs doing? How are the ants doing? How are the slugs and the snails doing? Because they are so important for our birds. And on top of that, You'll get out, you'll get dirty, but you'll be healthy, you'll be fitter, and you'll have a lot of fun. So please, schools in Wales, get involved in Under Our Feet. And if you want any more information, please contact the British Trust for Ornithology, the BTO. Thank you very much. Diolch am fawr.